Alright, this is going to be the beginning of a YouTube series for progressively leveling up a brand new bow. Now, when you first make an account and log in, it will be sign up for a free buff for free information. If that is something you do want to do, because it's free cannon slots. First of all, confirm our email address. Alright, so now that you've verified your email address, you go to, I believe, your newsletter. Receive, yes. Now that's all you do, should be good to go. Now, uh, your server menu is up here, so you can connect to whatever server you want to play, Europe, Eastern Europe, or America. Um, that's where I started, that's where it starts to use Global America 1. I myself play on Global, or that's Global Europe 1, I play on Global America 1. So, I'm already there. So you change servers. And then once you're kind of there, so some stuff, battle points, uh, that doesn't matter till later. Your quest, you can do that on the actual game screen, but your logbook is kind of important. It'll tell you what you need to know for stuff you got. And right there, Harold's Legacy, booked until 2037. So it lasts 14 years, lasts a long time. Barrel, Captain Ship 2, Starter Captains, Premium for two weeks. That's good. Uh, I guess it gives a lot of stuff. Or this is all stuff that you just start with whenever you make your account. So, uh, yeah. And different servers will give different stuff. Let's click play. Alright, so first things first, claim your stuff. But what I like to do, go to your options, little cog wheel over here. I don't play with uh, effects or sounds on because I like to listen to music and I don't think it's, uh, I don't know, it's kind of annoying. Graphics, uh, personally, I do not play on maximum 10.4. Yeah, I play on 10.4. You're, when you have maxed out uh, lookout, pretty much the circle will be the size of the screen. Is it 12? Might be 12. I think it's 12 actually, yeah. 1280 by 10.4. Um, uh, show abbreviated numbers. I don't want that on scroll bar. I personally like that. It means you can click up here and click down here. You can also use WASD to move around. You want to turn boost on that will get rid of other players damage numbers. So you can, uh, not lag as much. Show your pet monster animation, turn monster animation off. It reduces lag. Fog of War, turn that off. Clouds, turn that off. Animated Water, turn that off. Ship Trails. And good with that. Sound. Controls, I do WASD for my up, down, left, right. I just have a gaming mouse, so I just click one of four buttons for attack, cancel attack, board, and repair. I don't really use anything else. And then general. So start configure. I like to move my map up to where you could still drag it, but it is uh, it's easier. So then you can take your bar, as long as it's not locked. Actually, I think I am in the wrong one. That's, I'm in the wrong one. Graphics, 1080, 1024 by 768. General, start configure. All right, so what you can do is you can drag your menu around. Um, put my battle points down here. Make sure it's under the scroll bar. There, like that. Your voodoo points down here. HP down here. This is just my way of configuring it. It works well for me. Send to the ship. You click on the plus sign. It'll spawn you another menu uh, for hot hot items, and you can plus a plus sign, and you can do one more. So you can have four total. Click it, nothing happens. Four total. It, uh, even them out just a little bit. That looks good. And here are your buffs. You can, uh, I think that's PV for premium, PVP protection. I like to bring my buffs out to about three rows on my main account. Put my target up here. My attacker's over here. That's just the way I usually do it. Take your little zoom bar. Allows you to zoom in and out. I put it right there. 
Uh, I think that's all for that. And then here's some cool stuff. If you go up here to your currency, 3,000 pearls, 35,000 gold, you click on the little window button, it'll bring out your currency. I put it over here personally. And then this right here, you can lock it. So all these menus, lock, lock, lock. Now, if you have it locked, then for example, hollow ammo, I can't put it in there. You, that one's locked too. Never mind. So you got to unlock all of them. Uh, here, explosive ammo down there. Hollow ammo down there. Uh, harpoons. You just want to keep that there. None of those. No scrolls. Uh, put this down here. And you can adjust them whenever you want. And just so like if I wanted to put my Ogway amulet, I can click over it and replace it. I'm going to keep on my Triton Blessing, though, to quickly heal if I need to. Uh, then here's your event. I usually put that right over here, and it drops down down here. That's your event ticker. It will tell you what events are going. Uh, so, first quest. You go up here to quest the low skull icon. And you can click down here. Uh, nope, those are not ones we want to do. So to actually start out... Um, you go up into the safe haven. We want to go all the way up here. And I'm just going to cut to when we get up there. Because it takes a while to sail around in this game. And we're back. Now we're up here. And you have to be up against the map. So like if I click down here. I can't go in the safe haven. Click up there also. Here you go. Safe haven. So it's in the first map. And then after, the, after you level up. You can go to the two map. Three map. Back to safe haven 4, 5, etc. That's how all the maps work. You click here to change maps. And we're back. So now, you scroll down. This guy right here. I'll scroll down to him. Alright, so now you want to talk to him. You just click on him. Click on... Also, it might do that. It might give you the wrong quest. But all you have to do is click on the quest there. Or click the refresh up at the top left. Sometimes you have to exit out, click back on them, click refresh, or sometimes you have to click refresh, exit out, come back in, maybe click refresh again. It's a little glitchy. It's honestly a little glitchy. So 10,000 ammunition. We have 50,000 already. That's good. At the start, you kind of just want to use uh, elite ammo because you can always get more. It's not hard to get currency or ammo in this game. And right now, we probably don't have very many cannons if we go to our overview we go to ship equipment we have 10 level 10 30 pounders so not much uh you got your in here you got repair cannons don't use those too often expansions that'll give you things like hp or damage prevention dodge chance uh harpoon damage or reload speed cannon reloads reload speed so we'll get into that in a future video. Figurehead can allow you to get ELP or get, I think, critical hits on one of them. Your sails, you want to make sure you have your sails on. So that's 20 speed, 45 speed. So take these off. Put these on. Uh, and then lastly, fours. That's something brand new. I'll link a video uh, below for cores at the end of the video and in the description i made a video about that you might need to be a bit of a bigger boat but it's very simple all right i take my quest bar usually put it right up here now merchant cutter since the only map we can go to is map one we're going to go to map one now merchant cutter got lucky ones right there so using elite ammo should be able to shoot it a couple times and kill it as long as you're using your elite ammo. Should be 10 second reload speed to start with. Now we killed it. Now we go back up to Knives McGee. So some things that are annoying is that he's all the way over there. Sometimes you'll spawn in this top left corner and have to come all the way down. That's the early struggles of just starting out is how slow your ship is movement speed has a lot of value in this game because there are so many maps you have all of these maps are a different map you can sail around it's there's so many there's a lot 
goes up to 54 right now. That was a brand new update that just came out. Showed you all that. Still not even there. So just bear with the low movement speed to start. And then we'll get 350 XP. That's good. And then there's a coin of effort. I'll get into that later. Don't worry about those for now. Mighty Lugger. That's the other NPC in one map. Get 10,000 flares. Those are useful. I would save the flares until you go to a freedom event, which is actually now a Jolly Roger day. Um, you definitely want to save your flares for the freedom NPCs, but I wouldn't use them too early because you won't be doing enough damage. So, all right, so here's a mighty lugger. I'm just going to shoot it with the lead ammo. It's got a little bit more HP, but it's not going to sink us. It's got to sit here and bear with it and shoot them. Actually, that's another thing. So this might be uh something you want to do earlier that will help out i'll show you once it's dead all right so another thing that can help you out is if you go to here this is the shop you got featured stuff that isn't that important you got items you, this is your main thing you got ships and pets where you can get uh get different ship designs based on your elite points custom treasure chests. that's not really that important so you go to the search bar you type in powder or powder monkey and we're just gonna buy two of these for now just for a couple days i'm gonna buy them and completed now if you saw earlier i had 10 reload speed I go to ship equipment now i have eight reload speed so powder monkeys give you a lot of reload speed the other thing you can get is a cabin boy but you're not going to be able to buy that until much later here's a cabin boy you need crowns a teleport uh, armor plates and gunpowder. You get armor plates and gunpowder from scrolls. I'll do something on that in a later video. Now we're gonna sail back over to Knives McGee. Same dude. So here's the Mighty Lugger. We uh, it's already on there, so we don't have to refresh it or anything. Complete. So rewards. Now here's the next one. Sail to map safe haven. All right, so that should just be a free quest. We we are already in the safe haven, so we're going to get a new ship design, which will be useful. 50 Admiral Cannons. Those are good cannons to start out with. You definitely want to use them. Hardwood beams will give you more HP, more gaff sails. I believe that's the highest sail you can get currently. Explosive ammo and expansion slot. That's going to be really useful to put the hardwood beams on. So accept. You just click on them again, redeem reward. That's all you gotta do. Now for the next one, merchant cutters, uh, equip your admiral cannons, equip your hardwood beams, and have a gaff sail. So basically, all we have to do is defeat two merchant cutters, but we're gonna mess with our ship first. You get steel harpoons. Those are, I believe, these ones. They do 500 damage. You just want to use them right away to kill monsters. So cannonballs are for ships, and harpoons are for monsters. We're gonna accept it. I'm going to go up to overview. We're going to, or the low ship. We're going to click on overview. I'm going to click switch designs and click on our warship. Now we're in our warship. We have 300,000 HP, 155,000 voodoo points. You definitely want to equip that early. Now we're going to equip Admiral Cannons. And we're going to drop down to expansions. Now we have our expansions at, where are they? Is that expansions? We're 20 expansion slots. I don't know, it's weird. Uh huh. So that gave us 20 expansion slots. That's fine. I'm not sure what's up with that, but equip that. Go to sales. Now there's a gaff sale. We already have gaff sales equipped, but we can equip a third one here. Sale slots. We'll equip a third one. Our reload time has dropped to six seconds because of the Admiral Cannons. And let's, and we also have more movement speed, so it gets easier if you just stick with it. So real quick, these are treasure chests. You can buy keys with pearls. You don't want to do it right away until you're a little more into the game. These are lion chests. They're only out during Jolly Roger days. That's, uh, those are all mighty luggers. Let's go back to a merchant cutter. There's two of them. Perfect. Now we'll hit harder. We should be able to one-shot them. Just like that. Now we have six seconds until we can shoot the next one because that's our reload speed. And it's dead. Alright, now back to Nice McGee. 
all right so real quick uh these guys right here this is your cauldron it's the cauldron of aruba you can get virgo maps capricorn sagittarius and cancer maps i wouldn't recommend doing uh these three for a while but if you get a virgo which you will eventually with enough mojo um you definitely want to do it you can get armor plates and gunpowder that will help you uh hit harder and take less damage so freedom in two one i might try to go shoot that with some flare ammo get some quick pearls so we have one mojo right here you can use pearls if i were to do 25 it cost twenty four thousand or 2400 pearls I'm just gonna throw one and we got 10 armor plates perfect and we're back to nice b uh so if you s that is not a level up test i don't believe So now, two more Mighty Luggers. We'll get uh, 10 World Breakers. Those are the fourth best cannon now. Some gold, that'll be useful. And this right here is a level up token or icon. Except quest, we'll go back, we're gonna shoot two more Mighty Luggers. And here's a Mighty Lugger. So these right here, these are shinies. Sometimes they're hard to click if they're on a monster. You can get XP from them. You get HP, Voodoo points. It's kind of in the way of this other shiny, so I'm going to shoot it. And with the 500 damage harpoons, it's pretty easy. And 4 mojo, just like that. So that's useful. Also, this 10% right here in the top left, that is for the first hour of the day you log on. You will get 10% uh, increased rewards. So eventually, once you're doing certain things, uh, once you are able to do more certain things, you want to do pearl making profit or different currency right when you log on because you'll get 10 percent more uh profit all right now we're at nice mcgee again and now we get to level up so redeem reward now we have more gold I'll show you what you can do with that gold too x marks the spot map save haven looks like a ship's pilot it's useful set quest click on them again redeem reward Next quest, sail the map 1 1. We'll get a lookout that will expand our radius of seeing stuff. Except quest. Actually, uh, the fog of war is kind of useful. I would turn that on. I forgot which uh, setting that was. So I turn that back on. Wait, fog, because it allows you to see where you can see and where you cannot see. So we sail the 1 1 and we go back. All right. So we're back here, get the lookout, more ammo, like that. and we pretty much just do it again. And here's booty bags. I'll show you what those are in just a moment. Actually, before I do too much more stuff, let's go to overview. Let's go to world breaker cannons. So these right here give uh, no extra damage. They give ELP bonus plus one, which is not great. 10,000 reload speed, 18 range, 45% hit probability. These give gold ammunition bonus and elite ammunition bonus, which means you'll be doing more damage. Uh, they give 30 range instead of 18 range. You can get 7,000 reload time, which is much better. Here are world breakers, 100 elite ammunition bonus plus 70%. So these are much better. 6,900 reload time. Uh, critical hit, critical damage, better hit probability, better range, so we'll equip those. <clears throat> and now before you go off shooting too much stuff, you can go to your overview, scroll down to crafting, and you can click on cores, go to cannons, and it'll start you out with 55 pounders. We'll create that, six more. So once you have more gold, uh, you want to go there. <clears throat> and craft more of them so for now let's equip six of those they're not the best cannons but they're a good start now we can hit a lot harder so map one one now we go back so pretty much you can go to map two by this point but there's not really much of a point to doing it because the whole thing with sea fight you just got to do your quests your quests and your tests that's the whole thing in sea fight the more you do those the bigger your boat will be Ooh, lucky spot the bigger your boat will get through the rewards you receive from quests and tests uh they make a big difference it's more new player friendly now click on him 
pearls and gems. So gems will be useful here in a moment. And again, back to map one more. So we're going to click up here and go to the gem guy. And we go to booty bag, pet gems. That's good. Pop that. Let's see what we get. So damage prevention. That's a great one right off the bat for NPCs. Um, we got an agility trainer. That'll help out. Both of these will make us take less damage. We got critical hit probability. That's not bad, but it's not one of the best ones. Voodoo points, that's kind of useful, but still not that great. And hit points, we want to use that one for now. Those are for our pet, though. We go over here. It's our regular gems. 19% damage, I definitely am going to equip that. 14% dodge chance, that's, that's for PvP. Uh, so, since I'm not going to be doing PvP, I probably won't uh, equip it. Got uh, 105,000 hit points, definitely equipping that one. Got 100,000 voodoo points, depending on what I get, I might equip that one. And, ooh, repair value. So I'm going to do the HP and the repair value. Those are really good ones. And we have another gem bag. So let's see what else. We have voodoo points, critical damage, voodoo points, damage prevention, and boarding bonus. Boarding bonus is good, but not till later. 21% damage, that's a good one. 10.5% repair value, I'll equip that one. 13% dodge chance, 20% critical, 19% boarding. Alright, so that's all of them. So, also, uh, let's go here. So we have voodoo, HP, repair value, dodge, damage prevention. So we're going to equip damage prevention and repair value. Those are really good ones to have. Uh, your repair value will just make you repair quicker. And your damage prevention will make you take less damage from NPCs. A boarding bonus, 21% damage. Let's equip that. Damage, critical, boarding bonus. So let's do... Let's do the critical damage. We don't have any special gems. That, what, that's what goes there. Confirm. We're going to go to pet. We have four regular gems. We have damage prevention again. We'll equip that. Uh, critical HP voodoo. So we're going to equip the HP. Uh, HP is better than voodoo typically because voodoo takes longer to repair. And if you have a uh, repair value like on here, then HP is better. But you also want uh, cannon damage or hit probability if you get those those are very good i would use cannon damage hit probability repair speed and damage prevention those would be your four that you want to go with when you're just starting out you don't have a uh, damage prevention and dodge chance i'd supplement it with uh hp if you don't have uh both of those or either if you don't have hp i'd supplement it with repair value uh so we don't have to confirm that Close. Don't worry about gem cutter. That's for later. So now, scroll on down. What else do we have? We have 39,000 gold. One thing we can do, if you would like to try and get more cannons right away, uh, you can sail around 1-1 one, one, or 2-1 one, or 1 or 2 map and shoot these monsters. That won't take too long to shoot. Some of them have more HP than others. But 14,000 gold. Come over here, shoot the mer or this guy's probably one shot, right? Yeah, 50,000 gold. Shoot this again. Start sailing up to the top of the map. 19,000 gold. So I could buy two more uh, 55 pounders just off that. But I'm going to keep grinding out knives, McGee. Also, this guy seems to have quests for us now. Let's check him out. So, must be level 2. Click 100. 50,000 damage. So that's definitely something. If you can do that sooner, once you hit level 2. Probably unlock when we hit level 2, so I would do that sooner. Um, 50 crystals. Use those for skill points. Drop down here to skill tree. And you have your damage sheet, your defense sheet, your economy sheet. Don't worry about those too much. We're actually, we have 50 crystals. Let's go ahead and go to See what we got. We got boarding bonus, not too important. Weapon slots, very important. 
hit probability very important reload time extremely important we'll probably try to max that one out first We've got range very important critical hit probability not very important until late game black gunpowder bonus not very important until you start getting scrolls consistently defense sheet we have hp or hp repair value very important hit points fairly important damage prevention very important expansion slots that's very very important uh, rocket damage prevention you don't need to worry about that for a while but you will need to put levels into it to unlock speed speed incredibly important the faster you can sail around the more stuff you can do we have dodge chance you don't need to worry about that one for a while if you're not fighting economy sheet we have harpoon damage that's useful early game if you want to shoot monsters and get a bunch of easy gold maximum healing value that's very important harpoon reload speed that's not too important again unless you're going to be working on monsters we have harpoon range i wouldn't even bother putting any points into that until you're way late game gold from npcs that can be very useful maximum boarding loot you can board npcs with your crew up here get into that later uh what else we got we have more speed very important and battle points i would not worry about that for a long time so to start out let's work on oh we need crowns oh i forgot we need crowns all right well we're not working on skills for a while i kind of forgot about that my mistake actually we didn't even accept the quest oops so we're going to accept quest and don't worry your other quest didn't disappear still have them both you can refresh you can exit out and refresh click your quest ticker the low eye comes right back and lock it in place again while we're sailing this guy is uh how you get into the rift you don't need to worry about that for a while because this guy is how you get the rift emblem uh and that will take a little bit to kill those the rift is very useful, but it would be kind of a waste of your elite ammunition for the time being, and you probably wouldn't get very far. You could do it, but it's a lot better for later game. So, redeem reward. Next quest, Merchant Cutter and Trancus. So, two Tamer's booty bags. That's good. I believe Trancus are also in map one. The merchant cutters, I believe, are only in map one. So, so, but here's the other thing. Here's what I was going to bring up earlier. So, you go here. You go sea fight. Try this. Type it in. And don't click on that. Click on monsters for seafight.com. It'll bring you to the forums. Now, you can check uh, all the different regions. This iso iso one is brand new click on the image scroll down to trancus and be in one map and two map so those are the only maps that it is in so another thing we can do go back here see if i merchant cutter and you go back down to npcs we have both these open, so we can leave those open and check on stuff throughout the duration of these videos. So merchant cutters are indeed only in the one map. Here, scroll down, one, two. There they are, mighty lugger, and merchant cutter, only in the one map. Let's go back to C if I change. Now, since merchant cutter and trinkus are both in one map, this is the map you want to go to. Also, always pick up your shinies early game. They can give you experience, which is very useful. Like that, right there. Uh, shiny hunting is not a bad way to get a good start in the game, just for kind of mid-maxing. So we need Merchant Cutter, not uh, Mighty Lugger, but here are two Trancus. Or Trancus, however you say it. Go down here, shoot him. One shot. Next one, kind of getting lucky. There's two Merchant Cutters, perfect shoot this we'll come over here we shoot that and now point of effort so that is kill npcs in the caribbean waters probably like 
five or something. Also, another thing you can do when you go here is you can go back here. C fight level two. Test. You can type in test, open that up, and also do quest. If you're ever unsure of what to do, go to these right here. Give you the level two to level three test. So that. And here are our quests. Scroll down. Map one, map one, Russian Cup Trinka. So we are on. We just did this one. And now our that should be our next level up, I do believe. Uh or no, this is the this is the test. The this was the last quest, and here's the test. So let's go back here. Should be there. Click on them, redeem reward. Our code we need to defeat one of these NPCs. Ten more world breakers, very useful. Gold, we can get more 55s off that. Confetti. I probably would save that for the time being and use your other ammo, and we get a level off it. So accept quest. Now let's go up here to the gem guy, booty bag, pet gems. It gives us 19 to 22. Very good for early game. 6% damage, probably use that one. 10% critical, no thank you. HP, no thank you. Hit probability, that's the one we're going to use. Hit probability is better than damage. Uh, and damage prevention, 15, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Damage prevention, boarding bonus, uh, damage, HP, and voodoo points. So now, go to pet configurator. So we have 15.5 damage prevention. Or the damage 15 so this one is better we have 47,000 hp so another thing uh you uh equipping your gems too early if you i equip or uh, remove that it'll cost 5,000 pearls so i'm actually going to keep it on for the time being uh because i well i only have 3,000 pearls so that's something I should have mentioned earlier. Be careful what gems you equip because you will not be able to unequip them for a while. That's my mistake on that part. But now we go to two ones. So the trick here, actually, we have to go down to do it. So go back here, go back here, go to NPCs, and scroll up the trick here, RL. It's in two, three, four, and five map. So if you look at the map, two map is down there. So you go to one. Also, it does not matter where in the safe haven, uh, anywhere along the bar you go, anywhere at all. All you have to do is get to the edge because it will always place you in the middle. Just like that, center of the map right there. Also, these shipwrecks down here typically give better rewards than regular shinies. Just a little FYI if you're going to pick and choose which one you want to do. All right, real quick, this is something I forgot about, is that the gas sail is not the best. It is the Bermuda sail, 53 speed. So if you notice that ahead of time, good for you. If not, my mistake. So unequip two of those. You just click on stuff uh, once or twice to unequip it. Uh, click it to re-equip it. But if you have more than one, you can drag it over and click move. It'll let you select how many you want to move over. And we found it. Okay, so shoot it with the lead and we one shot up Poseidon's eye actually i think that's what you need for uh the atlantis map if i'm not mistaken so uh that's not going to give you as good rewards though doing that so it's more of a late game thing but we did get a Poseidon's eye and i think that's what you need for the atlantis map. so this is where i shall end this video we got from level one to level three um Please let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this and if you would like to see more tutorial videos. Uh, comments will really help motivate me to keep the series going. If you guys like this series, or gals, or non-binaries, how do you flow? Um, for that, let's go to overview again. Ship equipment. Now it's 77 out of 110. Let's go for world breakers. Uh, do we have... I don't know why we still only have five expansion slots. But they're over here. Also, another thing you can do is buy expansion slots or cannon slots with gold. We're going to buy a few of those just because. Um, you can also buy cannon slots with gold. Let's buy 
But gold is pretty important early game. And eventually important late game. But we have more expansions. So let's go over here. Let's click these. Done. And we have more HP. <clears throat> but yeah. Let me know if you guys like the video. Uh, if you did, hit that like button. Helps uh, more people find my video according to the algorithm. So this video can get more views. I can get more comments saying that people like this. And I will keep making this series. And that's all for now. Have fun.